Okay, in this video I'm going to explain some of the ideas that I played in this song, the Shiznack, that I posted. And rather than just teaching you the licks, I'm going to teach you the concepts behind them so that you can apply them to your own playing. Uh, this first idea um, is how I approach the fretboard. I call it vertical, horizontal, and diagonal motion. Uh, when we learn how to play lead, a lot of times we learn, you know, a typical three note per string scale. And we go straight up and down that scale with the licks that we learn. Um, you know, something like... Okay, I call that vertical motion because you're going straight up and down. Now horizontal motion is when you go across the neck this way. Try that again so it doesn't suck. Okay, so that's horizontal motion. Now, the most difficult of these motions, uh, that would be diagonal motion because it not only crosses over the different scale shapes, um, but you're moving diagonally down the fretboard and you have to know your scales really, really well in order to do this. Uh, usually, any lick that I do uh, using diagonal motion, I've written it out. I, I'm not improvising doing this stuff. It's, it's too easy to get your fingers tangled. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, here's the diagonal motion that I actually use in the song. I'm going to start with a vertical motion, descending a scale. Um, it goes like this. And I move over here, and I start to ascend diagonally. And I switch position. Switch again. And one last one. Hold things slowly. to three note per string pentatonics and blues scales. Um, I fell in love with shredding pentatonics, uh, the opening to Colorado Bulldog by Paul Gilbert. I just thought that was an amazing lick. Uh, let's see if I can pull it off here. Uh... Colorado Bulldog, he goes both ways on that. Um, let's see if I can do it. Oh, another take. Alrighty. 
So now I'm going to show you what I did to take that idea and apply it to the song. Uh, this first one, what I did is I was borrowing notes from the neighboring pentatonic pattern. Um, I'm way up the fretboard here. I've got 24 frets, so um, unless you have a 24 fret guitar, you might not be able to play this lick. Uh, you might want to move it down an octave or a different key. Okay, so here's the two pentatonic shapes that I'm playing. <laughs> Okay, and what I do, I, I've taken this sequence right here, and I'm going to use vertical motion, and I'm going to go all the way through the shape. And as you can see, I'm borrowing notes from the neighboring pattern. So. Here I descend, I, I throw in a few blues notes, uh, a Dorian note, um, and some chromatic notes. So okay, we'll throw that all together slowly. start to pick it up a little. Okay, and the next one is a really cool idea. Uh, I use the blues scale, you know, you got the extra, you got the blues note in there, and I'm doing three notes per string. So you actually have six notes in the scale, so something really cool happens here. Um, you get a repeating pattern, it's just the same shape over and over again. Then you go up an octave and it repeats. And I'm just going to take a six note sequence and I'm going to go th up through that pattern. And I'm doing some hammer ons and some pull offs on the top just to break up the picking sound so that it's not all. Alright, so let's pick that up a little bit. Okay, and the last thing that I was going to talk about um, is an approach that I developed to playing arpeggios. At the time, I thought I invented it, but I've seen plenty of people doing it now. Um, Michael Angelo Badio, uh, Guthrie Govan, and some guys that are not necessarily on record labels, but I've seen their YouTube videos and are absolutely amazing. Um, if you get a chance, check out uh, Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, the third movement. There's this guy, uh, Dr. Viasi, he just does this amazing job with it. Uh, definitely worth a watch. So, anyways, this is going to be my approach. I'm going to start out with a couple of the typical approaches. Um, you have the Paul Gilbert uh, string skipping style arpeggios. <laughs> Okay, and your typical sweeping pattern. Okay, the first one is 
a normal triad, but we're using string skipping and tapping in order to play it instead of sweeping. It's like your standard Van Halen type of... But you're just skipping octaves. notes. Okay, this last lick that we're going to do is an A-flat minor. Um, it's an A-flat minor 7th arpeggio, and I end it with blues scale. So, let's run through it a couple times, and... See what happens. Okay. Now, slowly, you start out with an A minor triad. Then you're going to come up here, you're going to skip a string, hit the 7th, and then you're back to A flat again. Notice I, I skip over the root note here and come up here. And then from there, I'm just running through the blues scale. note on this um, when you're doing these all you got to do is add one more note and you'll get really cool pentatonic runs there's the fourth right there well, let's hit the right string Thank <laughs> you. 